Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be building a web application in Flask which automatically removes background from images using the remove background module that I so showed you in the last two videos using Python. So this application allows you to select multiple files, multiple image files. So we will be basically be selecting these images guys which we will be removing background one by one. So let me select these five image files at once bulk processing. So and click on remove background so it will take some time it will one by one it will remove all the background images and it will download a zip file after it finishes processing and it will also basically you can see the zip file has been successfully downloaded and now it contains you can see the background has been successfully removed this is the first image this is the second image you can see that this is a third image so you can see how neatly it has removed the background this library is completely free you need not have to pay any sort of uh, you can see it's not a paid API it's a library that we are using it inside Python in background this is the fifth image you can see that so we will be using this uh, library to build this awesome little application where you are uh, uh, you can basically provide hundreds of images and then basically it will download a zip file as an attachment so all the source code guys I have given in the description link you can go to it and uh, get the source code so you can see it basically will build out the zip file uh, you can see that so now let me just start building this application so the very first thing you need to do you need to install a flask library inside your python so pip install flask and also you need to install this module remove background rem bg so these two modules you need to install guys i have already installed it so now the very first thing you need to do you need to make uh, app.py file so just make this app.py file guys and here we will first of all import the operating system module input output and also zip file input output zip file we need to make uh, the zip files inside python and uh, we also need to from flask we need to import flask and we also need to import render template and also request and send file and remove background there is a method guys which automatically remove background from images remove here so we are using this library guys if you don't know this library remBG this is a python library which removes the background from images this is their github repository you can check out the library that we are using right here so after this guys we need to make a new flask app we will say flask name and after this we will basically make a simple request to the home page so whenever someone opens the home page we will basically render out a template index.html so now we do need to start this application guys so that we can say if name is equal to main app.run debug to true this will start this application guys so we can say python app.py so it has started localhost 5000 so now we need to make the templates folder and inside this we can make index.html so right here guys we will basically have here a h1 tag image background removal and here after this we will basically have a form the action will point to process method will be here post and you also need to provide encoding type multi-part form data because we need to up upload file here so input type here file and here we will give giving a name attribute images so here we will be able to select multiple images as one time so we will only be accepting uh, jpg and PNG images so after this we will have a simple button here of submit button so input type submit 
and here we will simply give the value here which is remove background so if you now reload the application go to your browser type here localhost 5000 you will see this simple form right here here we can select our image files so now we need to make this post request inside our app.py so we do need to make this request app now route this time this would be process slash process and here we will provide the methods here this is a post request and here we will define a function which is process images so the very first thing we will do guys we will basically make a temporary directory where we will be storing all the image files so you don't need to create any sort of directory it will automatically be created by python so we will make it this directory by make directory method exist ok option to be true this is a boolean parameter so after making this directory guys what we will say we will simply store these files which the user is selected request files dot get list images so here whatever the name attribute you have given inside index.html you need to provide this name attribute so after you get the list of image files which the user has selected now we can simply run a for loop and we can get the image data by file dot read so one by one it will get the image data and now we can create a output data variable and we can call this remove method and we will remove the image background and store it inside output data and now we will simply say file name file file name we will store the file name of inside this variable and now we can simply store the output path here operating system path dot join temp directory file name and here we can simply create this output file guys in the, uh, read write binary which is a flag inside python write binary as f you can write the file f dot write output path output data sorry and now after writing all these image files guys now what we can say we need to come out of this for loop and now we need to create a zip file So now to create the zip file we can name the zip file as processed images dot zip and then we can call the zip file module it contains this method zip file and we can provide the zip path and the flag w as zip file and for root comma files in we will walk the directory by using operating system module temporary directory and here we will root uh, use the for loop here once again we will get the file path root file so here we will simply write the file inside the zip file file underscore path file that's all so now we need to delete this uh, temp directory guys so what we can say uh, just after this let me see yeah so right outside this we will clean this uh, the files which are present inside the temporary directory so for cleaning it once again we will use the for loop like this and now we will return this uh, zip file as an attachment so now we can basically return send file and we will provide the zip file as an attachment as attachment to true 
So this will download the zip file as an attachment guys. So inside flask we can use this method send file which we imported from flask library. So now the application is complete. So once again if I now go to the local host 5000 and let me start this application. Let me choose these three files, click remove background. So it is saying name true is not defined. Uh, let me see what is the problem here. Uh, I think some error has taken place. So you can go to the description link guys, all the source code is given. Let me paste this link. Sometimes error can take place guys. This is the correct code. You can see that. If I once again refresh. So it will take some time and then it will download the zipped file which will contain all the files you will see that so thank you very much guys for watching this video and all the source code is given in the description and i will be seeing you in the next video